Hey everyone, and welcome back to another eShop Deals video, where each and every week we go through the eShop and select which are the best games that are currently on sale. Now, just in case you're new to this series or the channel, quick reminder that I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video, but I'll be linking that video up above. You can always check it out because often deals do last more than seven days. Also, as usual, about halfway through the video, we'll be announcing this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. If you're wondering how you can participate in that giveaway, all you need to do is check out my midweek under $5 eShop video, where we focus on the best Switch games, but only those that cost less than $5. Now, last thing before we get started, because we've got a pretty amazing list this week, don't forget to hit the like button if you want to support the channel and subscribe if you aren't already. Now, the first game on our list for this week is going to be the Lego Harry Potter collection at 75% off for $12.49. Now, fair warning, this collection has already been a tiny bit cheaper just a few weeks ago. But nonetheless, if you missed out on that deal, unfortunately, we don't know when it's going to be back. And at $12.49 to play through the events of all six movies, if you're into Harry Potter and you like the Lego style humor, this is nonetheless great value. Now, second on our list for this week is an amazing entry, Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, that is 30% off for $27.99. Now, this has a pretty original concept of mixing harvesting rice with fighting off demon hordes. Now, it does sound weird, but trust me, it works. The only thing is that they really don't dumb down the harvesting rice. It becomes actually quite complicated and tedious, just like really harvesting rice. So if you're into those sort of time management games slash action games, this is an amazing entry for this week. And I think a lot of people will fall in love with this game. Now, this week is going to have a lot of really cheap games, but amazing games. And this is probably the biggest one of the whole week. Celeste, that is 75% off at $4.99. If you're a 2D platformer fan, whether you like difficult platformers or not, Celeste is a game that I think almost everyone should give a try. And at only $4.99, if you do fall in love with this game, you're probably going to get one of the best 2D platforming experiences, I would say easily in the last 10 to 20 years. Now, next on the list, we have Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate at 60% off for $23.99. Now, this game is on the list because you get so much packed into this bundle. You basically get Mortal Kombat 11, plus all the downloadable characters that have come out so far, and even the second campaign. And for once, Mortal Kombat 11 has a pretty interesting storyline campaign, as they've sort of integrated into the last few entries. Now, at $23.99, you get a ton of content for a decent price. Now, next on the list, we have another LEGO entry, which is the Marvel Super Heroes 2 Deluxe Edition. Once again, at 75% off, dropping the price to only $11.24. Now, out of all the LEGO series, this is my personal favorite. Of course, because number one, I'm a fan of the Marvel entries. But number two, it is also an original storyline, meaning it's not mimicking any of the movies, but it's using the characters that we've known and loved over the last few years, which is why I really think that this one is definitely worth it, especially she did the deluxe edition with the DLC included. Now, while we're on the subject of LEGO games, we have the third and final one for this week, the LEGO DC Super Villains Deluxe Edition at 80% off for $14.99. Now, just like the previous Marvel one, this is another one that I enjoy a lot. Number one, because it's an original storyline that we haven't seen in any of the recent movies. And a fair twist, you generally play as the villains for most of the storyline. On top of it, the Deluxe the Edition comes with the DLC included. So this is another one that is really worth it content wise. Now next is a game I had to mention, even though the sale isn't that big, Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX is 10% off at $17.99. Now I actually just fully reviewed this game for the channel, I gave it a 7 out of 10, making it a pretty decent game. The only thing is if you're a huge fan of retro platformers, a huge fan of Alex Kidd, you could theoretically rate this game higher than that. And therefore, even though it's only 10% off, this game having just released last week is a pretty decent deal that I at least wanted to take the time to mention at $17.99. 
Now, next on the list, we have another amazingly cheap game, and this is one that you should definitely not pass up once again, Felix the Reaper at 86% off for only $1.99. Now, this is a 3D puzzle platformer with a very original art style, but don't be fooled, it is very, very enjoyable. And at only $2, this is another one of the biggest steals for this week. Now, the next game that I'm taking time to mention was actually featured in this week's under $5 list, but it is that good and the deal is so low that I really think it's deserving of a mention here as well. That is Figment at 87% off for only $2.59. Now, this is a top-down action adventure game. I'm going to very loosely compare it to a Zelda style of game because you have puzzles to solve, enemies to beat. There isn't quite the dungeon crawling element, but it also has a very enticing storyline of being inside the psyche of a person. This is a definite steal for this week at only $2.59. Now, next on our list, we have another amazing deal with Nordgard at 60% off for $13.99. Now, this is an RTS style game, a genre we don't see that often on the Nintendo Switch. Reason why this deal is so amazing. In this game, you control a Viking tribe trying to take over a new continent. You have to face down against Norse gods and other challengers. It is really an amazing game, especially when you're only paying around $14 for it. Now next, we have another game that was featured in my under $5 list of this week, but it is such an amazing deal that once again, I have to mention it in the weekend video. That is Evoland Legendary Edition at 75% off for only $4.99. Now, don't be fooled, this has both Evolands in it, Evolands 1 and Evoland 2. Now, basically, this is a game where as you play through the game, you will evolve through the different versions of RPGs that we've seen over the year. It's going from original 8-bit RPGs all the way to fully 3D action RPGs, sort of once again like a Zelda style. It is a super original concept. The first game is very short and sort of just a taste of what you have to offer. The second one is really the jewel of the collection. So now, just before we move on to the next deal, it's time to announce this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. And this week's winner, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is Dacian Felice, who said, I love the new format and I would lo also love to try my luck for the giveaway. Well, good news, Dacian, you have won the giveaway. All you need to do is reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. Now, the next game is another original and new entry to the series, The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa at 40% off for $8.99. Now, this has a really original concept of being an open world beat em up where you're actually running a high school gang. You're basically the leader of a gang and your point is to fight off other gangs increase your territory and basically your control over the city. It also has sort of Yakuza style vibes to it because it is set in Japan and as I said earlier has some RPG progression elements to it. Anyway, this is a definite game that if you're into those open world type experiences that you should check out. Now next on the list we have Cyber Protocol at 80% off for only $1.99. Now this is a cyberpunk themed arcade puzzle game. But trust me, it is very easy to pick up, but the later levels become incredibly challenging. And to accompany this great puzzle style, you have amazing soundtracks and really great visuals. This is an easy game to pick up and for only $2, if you enjoy puzzle style games, this is a definite steal for this week. Now next on the list, we have Moon Raider at 40% off for $5.99. Now this is a very simple 2D action platformer that I actually once again fully reviewed on the channel and you can check that video out separately before dropping the $6. But basically, this is a game that was a ton of fun. The only thing, it never gets to a quite higher difficulty level. The difficulty sort of feels almost linear throughout the whole game. I still had tons of fun with it, but as I said in that review, I would definitely recommend waiting for a sale just like today and picking it up at 40% off. Next on our list, we have Shadows of Adam at 50% off for $7.49. And this is a game that I personally was waiting for a sale on because I couldn't wait to pick it up. It is a beautiful 16-bit styled JRPG 
and the gameplay, especially the battle mechanics, are very original for the genre. The only thing, the game overall is a little bit short for a JRPG, reason why I was waiting for a sale. And now at 50% off for $7.49, the content feels adequate for the price. Now next we have an easy entry on the list, we have MotoGP20 that is 75% off for only $8.74. Now these MotoGP series are basically simulation motorcycle racing. So if you pick these up, don't expect arcade style racing, these are really racing simulators. If you're into that genre, the only thing is generally the graphic fidelity on the Switch is lower than the other consoles, which is why I always recommend waiting till the earlier series falls on sale. Just like today, at $8.74, you get a really great experience overall for a low, low price. So next on the list, we have another amazingly cheap deal for this week with Earth Atlantis at 86% off for only $1.99. Now this game has some shoot 'em up style of gameplay, but rather than being linear levels, it has an exploration type design. Not only that, but you can probably already see on the screen, it has an amazing, almost hand-drawn quality to its visual design. This is a game that is a total, total steal once again at only $1.99. Next on the list, we have a game that every time it's on sale, it pretty much makes my list. Pumpkin Jack at 40% off for only $17.99. Now this is a game that I personally fell in love with. And I love when it's on sale because I can finally suggest it to all of you. It is a 3D action platformer, very reminiscent of the medieval style gameplay that we know from the PlayStation. But basically, I want this game to get a sequel, and since it was a passion project developed by only one person and ported by a second one, we definitely have to make sure they get some sales so that we can finally get some DLC or a second entry. Now next for this week, I have another amazingly cheap deal with Dimension Drive at 84% off for only $1.99. Now this is another shoot 'em up, but with a really original gameplay concept with your screen basically being split in two and having a copy of yourself on each side. Only thing, only one of those copies are active at a time and you basically phase from one side to the other. This allows you to make your way through different obstacles, face down different enemies in original ways. It takes a while to get used to, but once you do, it is quite an amazing experience. Now the cheap deals for this week are not over because I have another amazing one for you with Rogue Aces at 80% off for only $2.59. Now this is an arcade style flight simulator game that basically has you taking control of different aircraft and fighting your way through different war zones. All the levels are procedurally generated, you have to take off, land your plane. It is overall an amazing experience, like this is definitely another one of the top picks for this week. If you don't know what to pick up, almost everyone I think will find something to enjoy in Rogue Aces. Now next we have one of my all-time favorite double packs that is back again this week with Val Ferrison's Slain double pack at 65% off for $13.99. Now these are some amazing 2D action platformers with a strong emphasis on the action. And what's great about this double pack is you get one that is very strongly edged towards a shooting type of platformer and the second one with a more melee style of combat. Both of them have amazing soundtracks and get quite, quite difficult in the last levels. So just be ready for that in this double pack. But nonetheless, this is an amazing pickup for only $13 for these two great games. Now next on the list, we have another amazing entry, especially at this price, with Omega Strike at 70% off for only $4.49. Now if you're a fan of Metroidvanias and wish you had a shooter type design, well Omega Strike might be an excellent pickup for you this week. I find the gameplay is slightly reminiscent of a Metal Slug type of gameplay. Only thing, there are no vehicles that you really get into in this game. But nonetheless, the Metroidvania experience is very pleasing, especially at under $5. Next, we have another amazing bundle for this week, the Pew Pew Bundle Volume 1. It's a bundle I discovered just a few weeks ago at 85% off for $6.74. Basically, as the title suggests, you get three shooter type games included in this bundle, and they're all individually great games. And when you tack them all together for only $6.74, this is a great pick-em-up. 
One has a standard shoot 'em up style design, one has a platformer bullet hell style design, and the last one is a twin stick shooter bullet hell design, so you get a little bit of everything for only $6.74. Now last to round off our list for this week, we have a game that I personally think never gets enough attention, Haunted Halloween 86, that is 50% off for only $4.99. Now this is a true retro experience, and when I say that, it's that the game was made to be able to run on an actual 8-bit NES, because there is a cartridge version of this game, although it was made just a few years ago. It is basically a side scroll and beat em up Think Double Dragon, but with Street Fighter-like inputs for special moves, and you get an idea of what you have with Haunted Halloween 86. Fair warning though, this is becomes a very difficult game in the later stages, so if you do pick this up, make sure you're ready for those old school retro experiences that will really test your reflexes in the last few levels. So that is pretty much it for our list of eShop deals for this week. So now let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this week's list. Are there any games that you're going to be picking up for this week? Also, just a quick reminder for the winner of the $5 eShop gift card, don't forget to reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. And if you want to participate in next week's giveaway, as I said earlier, all you need to do is check out the midweek under $5 eShop deals video. Also, before we go, I do want to take a couple of seconds to really thank these channel supporters. Memberships are now open. You can check that down in the link below, but you'll see all their names in the credits of the video. And on the way out, as I said earlier, don't forget that if you do like the video, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.